Okay, we're in Creo Parametric here, and I am going to show you a quick example of how to uh, create a simple Lego brick uh, using your CAD skills in Creo Parametric. Uh, the first thing that you need to have here is you need to have your plan set up. So in class today, we created our sketches. We came up with our plan. We measured out using our calipers and came up with our measurements on what we needed to do to CAD out this simple uh, four peg Lego brick. So here's the front half, here's the back half where we work on the bottom of the Lego. So we're going to start here. We've got our orientation set. We're going to start our sketch from the top plane and we're going to start out by making a 15 millimeter square sketch. Then we'll extrude it at 9 millimeters. So let's go ahead and get started. You should have your Creo Parametric opened up already. You need to select your working directory, which in our class we have that just set on the desktop. Um, with your name and the letter CAD at the end. So you select your working directory, click OK. Now once we have our working directory set, we'll go ahead and open a brand new file, we'll click New. We want to make sure that part is selected, not assembly, but part, because we're not doing an assembly. And I'm just going to call this Lego Brick. And click OK. And it'll take a second here. And now we do have our our datum planes here. Um, of course, I when I do my cat my sketching, I don't like to have these lines here. So we go over here to our our filters, and we're just going to turn those off. Now, going back to our plan here, we're starting our sketch from the top plane. Okay, so we will need to make sure that we select the top data plane, the datum plane, and we're going to make our first sketch. So I'm going to click on sketch. And that should bring us um, our crosshairs for our XY axis here with our top plane. Now make sure that you click the sketch view button and that what that'll do is it'll reorient your screen so that we're looking straight on to the top plane. By the way, feel free to pause this video and, and rewind it and whatever you need to do in order to uh, create your Lego brick. Okay, so we are now inside of the sketch menu for our first sketch. And we're going to start out with a rectangle, just like we had in our plan. So we're going to we're going to move our cursor over here and do one left click, okay? And that selects it so that we can create our rectangle. We want this to actually be a square, so we're going to move this until we get the two uh, green L's, meaning that both sides are the same length. We do our click, we move our arrow off of the lines, and do two or do one middle click, and that will reorient this. But I just realized something. We forgot to set our uh, parameters, our, our properties. Um, right now, this is in inches, 171.55 inches, which is way too big. Um, we want this to actually be in millimeters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out, this sketcher. We're going back to square one. We're going to go to File, Prepare, Model Properties, Select. And as you can see right here, in Units. Right now we are in inches, and uh, with this particular draft, we don't want to do inches, so we're going to change that to millimeters. Set. We want it to be unconvert, so OK, and close, and close. So now we are in millimeters rather than inches. This is where we want to be. Um, so we're going to go back, make sure we're on the top datum plane again, just like we started. We're going to go back to our sketch like we originally were. And again, back to our rectangle tool. We want this to be a square. That's why we have the two L's. And again, it's at 146. So if we go back to our plan here, this only needs to be 15 millimeters. So we're going to change that by just doing a single click, actually a double click. We want to select it and change it to 15 millimeters. When I hit Enter, it kind of shrinks it down. That's OK. We'll just hit our refit button. Uh, scoot it up here and we're ready to go all right so next step now we go we're finished with this sketch so we're gonna go ahead and click OK exit us out of the sketch menu you can see the sketch uh, tab disappears from up there and we're back in the sketch menu okay so our next step is if we go back to our plan is to extrude nine millimeters 
So back to our Creo page here, we want to make sure that we're, we're ready to do an extrude, but before we do that, we have to make sure that our sketch is selected. So over here in the model tree, make sure that you have that sketch, number one, highlighted. Okay, and then you can click the extrude button. And it came out as a default 6.5. Now our plan said that we wanted it at 9 millimeters, so we just double click on there. Or you can change it up here. Either one would work. We're just going to change that to a 9, hit enter, and now we have extruded our Lego brick. It's now 9 millimeters, okay? And uh, I happened to hit enter, which took us out of the extrude uh, menu. If you have to go back in, if you do something like that and you lose your extrude, all you have to do is come over here and right click and edit definition, and that'll take you right back into your extrude um, tab up on top. So once you've got your... your uh, brick the way that you want it. You just click the check mark and we now have our beginning of our Lego brick. So the next step here, the next step that we're going to take, looking at our plan here, we're down to feature two, is that we want to start the sketch on the top. So we want to sketch this right up on the top. Okay, and we're going to do our circles. So if I go back to Creo here, I want to make sure that I'm sketching right on the top. So I'm going to go over here to my named views and make sure that I'm looking straight down from the top. Okay, and I am. So if I just take this and spin it just a little bit, I can get a better view. And I know that this is the top. Now, you can, you can do a sketch on any of these surfaces. So we want the top surface, which means I need to select it. Once it's turned green like this, we know it's selected. And this is where we can go ahead and start our sketch. We have our plane selected, and once it's selected, we can click the sketch button. What this means is whatever I draw is now going right here on top of this plane. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click my sketch view and kind of zero it out again. And I'm going to make some construction lines now. Now if we go back to, to our uh, diagram here, we're going to do the first circle right here. And we know that that needs to come out three and a half inches, and it also needs to come up three and a half inches. If you do, if you did the math, you'd figure that that's what it needs to be. So we're going to go three and a half and three and a half. So we're going to make a construction mode line. And you have to be really careful whenever you're making a line or a circle or anything. Make sure that if it's a construction mode, every time you look up here and check this construction mode uh, button to see if it's selected or deselected. And right now we need it selected. So we're going to make a construction mode line starting at 0, 0. And we're going to draw it over to about right there. We're going to middle click out twice. And you can see here that that's 3 point. So it's not quite what it needs to be. We want it to be 3.5 millimeters. Okay. And it is now. No, it isn't. Let me try that again. 3.5. And now it's at three and a half. Okay, and it's kind of hard to see on the screen, but it ends right here. All right, we want to do another line the same length. We're still in construction mode. So we're going to just move our cursor till it snaps in to that point. Click once, drag it up. Now again, we want this to be the same length. So now that we have those L's, you can see they, they pop on and off there. We know that that's three and a half inches because it's the same length as the last line we made. So we're going to click once. Middle click out, middle click again, and there we go. We have our two lines. They're both three and a half uh, millimeters. Okay. So now the next step we want to do. Now we know that that uh, each of these points for each of our four dots is going to be the same distance from the corner. So one way that we can quickly make those other points that are going to be the centers of our, our circles is to go ahead and make a construction rectangle. I'm going to click on this rectangle button. I'm going to snap right in there. And I'm going to make this. I want it to be a perfect square, so I'm looking for my L's. There they are. I middle click out. And I want this to be, if we go back to our plan, it needs to be 8 millimeters. So it's going to be 8 millimeters in between each of these circles. Okay, so I'm just going to change this to 8 millimeters. And now we have our dots, our points, for all of the centers of our circles. Okay, um, going back to our plan now, we need to draw these circles five millimeters 
in diameter. This should be pretty easy. Now again, we don't want these in construction mode. We want these to be full on circles. So we're going to do the circle button. We're going to click in the center, draw it out, middle click, and again, these circles need to be five millimeters. Just like that. We're going to draw, click the circle again, come over here. Now this time, Creo is going to remember how, how big the first circle was, and you can see here that it just snapped into place. It put an R there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click, middle click out, and now you can see that the first circle was 5 millimeters. The second circle is the same as the first circle, and we can, do, we can repeat this process all the way around. Snap, 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 and snap. Once it, once it gets that R, we middle click out, and all four of those circles are now the same exact radius, I'm sorry, diameter. Okay, and once we have it the way we want it, we go ahead and click OK, and we are done with that sketch. Now the next step, if we go back to our plan, is to go ahead and extrude those one millimeter. Okay, so make sure that you have that sketch selected over here in the model tree. You're going to come up here to extrude. And you can see here that now we have those Lego pieces popping out. But five, five and three quarters millimeters is too big. We just want it to be one. So we're going to change that. Select done. And now it's starting to look like a Lego. Okay. Now our next step, we're going to scroll down to the next page, is we're going to do the bottom. And on the bottom, we need to first of all sketch out this piece. So it's going to be a width of one millimeter, width of one millimeter, and we have to center this um, circular piece right in the middle. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we want this to be on the bottom, so we're going to again select the very bottom so that it turns green. That way we know we're drawing, we're sketching on that surface. Click the sketch button and we're going to go ahead and click the sketch view button. So now we're looking directly at the bottom of this Lego piece. Okay, um, we want to go ahead and make some construction lines again. So make sure construction mode is selected. We're going to make our line tool. We're going to go right to zero zero and we're going to come out one millimeter because that is the size that we need this to be. Change it to one. And now you can see we have a construction line with a point. The line is really not what we're looking for in this instance, we're just wanting that point that's one millimeter out. Okay, uh, we also want to make that line coming straight up, another construction line that's one millimeter out, so they're the same length now, middle click out, and we're going to do one more, actually this one's not going to be a construction line, we're going to set this one as a rectangle. Okay, and the rectangle, we're going to make this a real line here that looks like this. Now if we do our math, we know that this is a 15 uh, millimeter square, so if each of these sides is one millimeter, that would mean the inside needs to be a distance of 13 millimeters. 15 minus 1 minus 1 equals 13. Okay, but we have a problem here. Uh, the problem is we have the inside being cut out. Actually, that's not a problem. That's exactly what we want. So I take that back. Um, this is the way we want it. Um, but now we need to go ahead and make our circle on the inside. We go back to our plan. We need to put this circle in here somehow. And to do that, we need to designate the exact center of that box. So to do that, again, we're going to go back to our construction mode. Okay, We're going to draw a, a, a rectangle in construction mode that starts at the center. We want it, I said rectangle, I meant square. We want this to be an exact square, so we just want to make sure that those two L's are lined up. Okay, we're going to click, middle click out, middle click out. And right now that square, that, that construction square is 6.25. So if we want it to be halfway, uh, it, right in the halfway part of this, this uh, square, um, the square is 15 millimeters, so half of that would be 7.5. So we're going to make this 7.5. And now, as you can see, 
the very corner of this construction line square that we made is dead center in the middle of that um, piece. So let's turn construction mode off and we can go ahead and make our first circle. We're going to click on circle. We're going to go to that point that we made with our construction lines and we're going to draw us a circle. Middle click out. Okay, so now we have a circle going on here. But remember, if we go back to our plan, this is just, if you were to actually look at the Lego, this is just a, it's, it's hollow on the inside. So um, we want to draw one more circle in here. We're going to go back to the center. We're going to draw another circle. About like that. Middle click out. And so the first circle, if we go back to our plan here, it needs to be 6 millimeters. So 15 minus 6 is 9. Actually scratch that. So we just want it to be 6 millimeters in diameter. So as you can see here, we're going to change this first one to 6 millimeters. Hit enter. And we want the second circle to be 5 and a half millimeters. And the reason why it's 5 and a half is because if we go back to our plan, the width of that center circle is only a half a millimeter. It's pretty thin. So we only want this to be five and a half. That makes this whole thing um, a half a millimeter. So this is what it should look like. Everything that is in orange right now is going to be deleted. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK. We have our sketch the way we want it. And our next step now, now that we have our sketch there, make sure that this sketch is highlighted over here in the model tree. So we're going to extrude we're going to extrude that sketch. Now, this is obviously not what we're looking for. Okay, um, We're going to extrude it, and if we go back to our plan here, we're going to extrude it 8 millimeters. Okay, So 8 millimeters, let's make sure that this is typed in correctly. Um, but right now we're going the wrong direction. We need to extrude it backwards into the piece. So there's a button right here um, that will change the direction of the extrude. We're going to click that. And now it's extruding inside, and we're going to click this button, which will cut out the piece that we just extruded. And voila, we now have our Lego piece. We click the select button, or the check mark button, and we're done. That is the Lego brick. So you can go in now, you can, you can write your Lego uh, images on top, the Lego dialog, the Lego word. Um, you can color it if you want to. But that is your Lego piece. There you go. Good luck.